everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go through this white hive. We're going to make sure that the smash worked. When I smash these two hives together, the green hive and the white hive, I hope to remove one of these medium supers and check their stores and if they need more sugar syrup, refill their sugar syrup. I've been through a lot of the other hives this morning and I've already removed the feeding buckets off of some of them and filled some other ones, but when I got to the white hive, the girls were a little bit agitated, so I thought, hey, I got to get the video cameras out. We're going to film this. So let's go through this. Let's hope I don't get stung. The goal is to break this down, remove one of these boxes, make sure everybody's good in there, feed them if they need to be fed, and I want to try to move them over to where the green hive was on the pad and get them off the dirt. So that's the goal. Let's see what happens. Let me get my gear on, start the smoker, and then we'll get going. All right, so nothing about this is going to be fun. Again, this morning I came out here to check their stores and when I took this box off and smoked underneath the screen of my shim, these bees were buzzing and trying to fly it through the screen to get me. So I hope maybe they've calmed down now that a lot of the bees may have left forging, but we'll see. Well, I just put smoke in there and that whole hive got loud. Okay. All right, ladies. What do we have here? I'm hoping that this box on top has not been filled with sugar syrup. I'm hoping that this box below has been filled with sugar syrup. Okay, that's pretty heavy. Tells me they've been storing in there. Now this makes me nervous. I see some larva, some hive beetle larva on this pollen patty. That is not good. I don't want it to fall in the hive. Oh, but there's quite a bit of it. Oh, quite a bit of it. That is not good. All right, let's go through, let's go through this box. Let's see what we can see here. If I see any hive beetles in here, we're gonna go ahead and remove them again. Okay, we have one kept brood in here. That is odd. Oh, we have some more kept brood here. We may have a queen on this side of the box. I see a hive beetle. I see another hive beetle. Okay, two hive beetles I do not see. The queen. Excuse me. Don't sting me. I know it's only 60 degrees outside, but it's sunny. That is a nice frame. On both sides. Do I see a queen? There's the queen. There she is. She's right there. So we're gonna put her back. She's doing a great job. I'm gonna drop this frame in here to protect the queen. And we're going to skip over to the fourth frame. Okay, that is a beautiful frame of honey and or sugar syrup. Let's make sure we don't have any more hive beetles running around on it. I don't see any. 
drop that right back down in. I don't know what the world they're doing here. We're going to get rid of it. Excuse me. There you are. I believe these are empty frames. There is a hive beetle. No hive beetle there. And here they are drawing out. And again, this is the benefit of one-to-one -one sugar. They're drawing out brand new comb. Right now we know the queen is in this box. So we're gonna set her right here really fast. Now I have some drawn out comb that I'm going to put in here. Because this foundation is blank. And I know that even so, even though some of this uh, foundation is janky, it's actually pretty gross, it will uh, it'll leave them in better shape than they are with this. This is a nasty frame that I actually got in my nuke when I purchased these bees. All right. And now these girls at least have some drawn, drawn comb in the bottom. Now what we want to do is we want to move some of these empties out. Put some of these in there. They're storing in here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sorry, B. Didn't mean to give you the old smasheroni. Didn't mean to smash you. Okay, that one is pretty good. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. There we go. Here you go, girls. So now what we want to do, give them their screen. Here you go, girls. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the medium that I took from this hive, and it's got a few frames that have nectar in them, well, sugar syrup. So I'm going to take those down to the bench and let these bees rob those out. They've got another bucket of sugar syrup on here. They're ready to go. Okay, so now I want to make sure these girls can find their hive. So I'm going to trim this bush that lives in front of the hive so that they can see it when they're flying up. All right now these girls shouldn't have any trouble finding their, uh, their new hive. They're going to recognize the white roof. I think they're going to find it just fine. They say move a hive three feet or three miles. That's three feet. It's close enough. They'll find it. Pretty confident. All right, well, there you go. Success. We were able to move this hive about three feet to the left, and that is exactly what I wanted to get accomplished. I didn't like having that hive sit on the dirt. Ants, it was kind of wobbly. The wind was going to blow it over. A million nightmare scenarios going through my head as long as I had that hive there without a pad. So we've moved it onto the pad, and we're in good shape there. We were also able to find the queen, and she's lovely. She's laying up a storm, and she was laying up a storm in the second medium super that was on this hive. Now, I removed the third medium super, brought any frames that had nectar on them, sugar syrup on them, and put them in this medium with the queen, so she should be in good shape there. We also put empty frames, but drawn frames, down in the deep. Uh, prior to us doing that, she had nowhere to lay down there. The bees weren't drawing any comb, even though I've been giving them one-to-one -one sugar syrup. It's just a little bit late in the season, I think. So I think that's going to help them tremendously. 
with all that said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. And by all means, if you have something to say, please leave a comment below. I'll uh, try to get it answered. And as always, we'll try to release a video every Friday around 3 o'clock, unless something happens where I just don't uh, get around to making one. Getting kind of long in the tooth in the season here, so the videos might become a little bit sparse, but we're going to see what we can do. With all that said, thanks again for watching. You be happy. I'm going to be happy. These bees are going to be happy. We're all going to be happy. Have a great day. See you next time.